This is Sasha from Mini PC Pro. Tonight we're taking a look at an IEI technology Mini ITX mainboard. It's the Kino 690 AM2, which is for an Athlon 64, an Athlon 64 dual core, and a Samplon processor. What I notice immediately when I'm taking a look at the box is it looks pretty green and recyclable. So let's take a look at the side and all the symbols over here. We have a recycling symbol. We have a lab-free symbol, and of course we have a world standard symbol, which is important if you want to sell electronic in the European Union. So let's take a look what is inside of the box. Well, the first thing you notice is um, the quick installation guide, which gives you an overview of the package contents, uh, specification, jumper settings, and finally the board layout. Then we have a driver CD, hopefully with a manual on there because there's no manual inside of the box. We have a little package with some jumpers. We have two serial A to two cables, an IDE cable, a dual RS232 cable, IO panel, and a serial add to power connector and of course finally the board over here it is so let's take a look at the board layout right now first thing you notice are a lot of connectors on the IO panel side so over here we have the PS2 connectors we have RS232 connectors VGA DVI, we have two 1 gigabit Ethernet connectors and four USB, and over here we have the audio connectors. We have one PCI connector, we have four serial out of two connectors, which is really nice because you can really connect a couple of hard disks to it, and it's offering you weight 0, weight 1, and weight 1 0. We have one IDE connector. And we have two memory slots that are supporting DDR2 with 400, 533, 667, and 800 megahertz up to 2 gigabyte. What's really interesting about this mainboard is a 690G chipset with an integrated Radeon Express 1250 with four active pipelines. Pretty much the best onboard graphic card you can get for your money because it's supporting HDTV resolutions up to 1080i. And with an additional component interface, you can even play back uh, HDTV resolutions up to 1080p. So let's see how this combination of the 690G together with an Athlon 64 dual core processor is going to perform when it comes to multimedia file playback. So check out epscenter.com for the upcoming review and all the latest Mini-ITX news.